Africa Bombada, is this right here the very first rap record right here, King Tim the Third? Can you tell me? I'm only wondering, what is the first rap record? Well, it depends on how you look in that rap. We could say this is the first of started with the first rapping um, that led up to what we call hip hop. So King. Tim the Dirt from the Fat Bad Band was the first rap record that came out on a 12 inch. But if you want to get and dig deeper, we could look at Pygmy Markin when he made Here Come the Judge. We could go back in the 60s and look at Shirley Ellis when she did the name game and the clapping song. And all the James Brown records, call and response records, was rap records. Go back to Bo Diddley. I mean, rap could go so far back. back, back. It began in Africa. Stormy said, boy, why you pick me a hundred pound of cotton before I was beaten by the old Virginia nigga? Leave my fingers in the bowl before I was beaten. Before I was beaten by the old Virginia nigga, leave my fingers in the bowl. Uh, did, did you ever, did you ever sing that while you were picking cotton? Yes, I sing that. Sometimes we go out there and pick in the moonshine. I sing that sometimes at ten o'clock, picking cotton in the moonshine in the night. No, that's cool. Hey, the good. boy is out there. I won't give it back Folks, that was a jiving man from the west Everybody called him jiving depressed He jived his maw, he jived his paw He even down jived his maw and law He jived every soul, he jived the mew name maw He was so game, he jived the Cadillac wall. Had a habit of jiving and that ain't all with his lord, 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 lord.
Thou with a hidey high and a holy ho. Cab Calloway and his Harlem maniacs present a flaming bit of heated Harlem harmony. Why, what's smacked this cat here? Cat high. What do you mean he's high? Full of weed. Full of weed? Yeah. Why, what is this cat anyway? The meat for a man. Yeah. Why, look at that dog. He looks like he's losing his mind. Yeah. He's lost his mind. Yeah. Come on, let's get away from here then. This is the old Arkansas Traveler. Well, down in the jungle of Arkansas one time, I seen a big fight. If you'll listen, I'll try to tell you exactly like I seen it happen. It was way down in the jungle in the treetops deep. A signifying monkey was trying to knock a little sleep. Now every time this monkey would start to snore, a goddamn lion would let out a hell of a roar. Well, the monkey can't sleep, and he knew there ain't no use trying. So here's where he starts some signifying. He said, hey, lion, there's a big burly elephant down your way, and he talked about you and all your race. And he cussed you till he was blue in the face. And that ain't all he said. He said you was a syphilitic wreck. And if he ever seen you again, he was going to break your goddamn big neck. Well, the lion jumped up in a hell of a rage, like a young steer about to blow his gauge. He let out a roar, and you could hear it for a mile, and the monkey looked down with his signifying smile. He said, go on, cat, roar and spit, but old Burley is going to put a stop to all your old bullshit. Yeah, yeah, he is again. There's... And they called you Shaw Cat. 
the Naz. That was the cat's name. I'd go downstairs just to check the lock. When I heard something in the house, I don't mean a mouse. I swear they were spooks, 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 spooks. I know they were spooks, 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 spooks. Couldn't move, just stood and stare. I never was so scared. The first spook spoke and I heard him speak. He said, what's there? Go make the back door squeak. We'll tease the cat and hound the pup and raise our spirits. I had a little dream the other night, and it thrilled me with sheer delight. I had a little dream the other night, and it thrilled me with sheer delight. In my dream I had traveled far, and got to my home back in Africa. And I was greeted quite happily, with songs of peace and festivity. Singing, Karanga Day. Karanga, Karangi Yeh, yeh, oh, yo, me, yo Oh, oh, Karanga, day They received me with great ceremony By Chief Olu and his family I was petted and petted by everyone As if I were their prodigal son When I think of my dream, well, I had to laugh For they brought out and slaughtered the fatted calf While they kept singing quite happily this song of peace and festivity. What were they singing? Karanga. Now a whole lot of you cats are too choosy about the chicks that you meet. Now it could be their hair, or sometimes it's the size of their feet. But that ain't nothing to the treasures that these chicks hold, when with just a little bit of kindness, you might transfer this into some gold. Now if you know a woman that looks just like a bear, and she ain't got no kind of shape, and very little hair, and she ain't no good to nobody, and can't even count to three, that's the woman I want, cause she is just right for me. And uh, if you know a woman that happens to be the skinniest in town, and when a July wind comes by, you got to anchor this babe down, and she can't gain no kind of weight, and is a pity to see, well my man had me her phone number, cause she is just right for me. And if you know of a chick that loves to fight, that's known to cut a stud up, that don't treat her right, and whenever you can whoop two, and she can always whoop three, well, that's the woman I want, cause she is just right for me. Now, I've majored in women, and I'm used to all kind of types. I've had the pure and the used, and jam them down with all kind of heights. 
But there's one thing I found It sure is some bees love some honey Is keep you one of them ugly girls, Jim And you'll always have you some money That sure is About in the place, keep your yard as clean as your face. Everyone know the penalty. Untidiness is six months in custody. Believe me, up here, Mr. Powell, who wanted to something in his bowel, he went and stood down at the side of the road, and there he put down the load.
They are seven acknowledged wonders of the world. You are about to be entertained by the eighth, the young man who has become a legend in his own time, Soul Finger, Agent 00 Soul. It's the Frankie Crocker Show. Do it, Frankie. Do it to it. <sighs> Suck it to me, mama. Say, baby, this is an album that's bound to put more dips in your hips, more cut in your strut, and more glide in your stride. If you don't dig it, you know you've got a hole in your soul. Don't eat chicken on Sunday. Push, girl. Other cats be laughing and joking. Frankie Crocker steady taking care of business, cooking and smoking. For there is no other like this soul brother, tall, tan, young, and fly. Anytime you want me, baby, I'm your guy. Oh. Oh. Young and single, and I love to mingle. Can I mingle with you, baby? Oh. 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 Closer than whites on rice, closer than coals on ice, closer than the collars on a dog, closer than a hammers on a country horn. <laughs> Gonna get next to you, mama. Say, Scooter, thank you very much for buying our first all these albums. Frankie loves you for it. Each and every group will make you move, because you know what I say, baby. You get so much with the Frankie Crocker touch after all. How can you lose with the stuff I use? Truly the eighth wonder of the world. Before me there was none after me, there shall be no more. Aren't you glad you live in a town? You can hear the Frankie Crocker sound when the sun goes down. Let me rap to you, mama. If I'm all you got, I'm all you need. Enjoy the album. I hope it brings you many pleasure listening hours. Frankie loves you.
down, your face turned to this sound. On your way up or on your way down, I want you to step at this station for identification. I'm going to turn it over to your sound dimension, your music producer. Everybody on the ball. The white man, at best, is corny. But who is to say it? How is the who? How is the black man to say what? When he sits biting his ass in the sun, or lay across a puddle for Snail City to cross over, how? And with what logic and moral? Who is fed by the meanest of screams? Will we move or will we be merely proud as the best, yet with will to be ego? A self-same mean bastards corrupting our inch of despair to try what for what? Who will appreciate? Who will benefit? To desert is no different or better. They all have deserted and set. In the sun under a sign Spirits waving through summer and fall Spirits in the cold Place of our crucifixion Break the man head off the sign It is a cross, a double dirty cross This is James Brown on the Mount of Vernon show, the Sarah Hobson. Make no mistake, a Jake. Rounds in town. The days, the hours. The days, the hours, the moment when the mind's anguish knew no solace. Except you knew she was there, or you hoped she was there, and you hoped she still loved you if she ever did. Looking back now on what is taking place in the last few days, I wonder if I am happy, being that I have never been happy before. I don't know. And Donna is my woman. Can you imagine I have a woman who says she loves me? I mean, she might mean it. And although I'm known as the love poet, I know nothing of it. I've only recorded the dull affairs with half-dead women and not alive girls who give everything except what a man wants, or more so what he needs, which is... That I don't know either, only knowing that these are excerpts from a mind that wanders, wanders, yet doesn't know. But I know you, Donna, I know the soft flow of you, I know your smile, and yes, I think I am happy. But there's a misery there, there's an aimless hunger that gnaws at what used to be my brain. The glue I've been sniffing has eaten half my brain away, I think. The music of Lou Rawls, the non-effect of the cocaine sniffed this morning, the stuttering of thoughts that seem to capture nothing, life, the whirlpool of nothing, and why do I think like this? The forming of these words to say of me, making an essay, play, or what of me. Questions hoping to lead me to answers. Answers hoping to lead me to what? Cry! Crying for meaning past my stomach's warmth.
Never should have promised to me Give it here Don't hold back now Give it here Don't say nothing Just give it here Come on Give it here uh, Give it here uh, Give it here Give it here Give it here Give it here I got you I got you I promised to me Got you You never should have promised to me Got you I said, if you could just go back, if you could do it all over again, would you do it black? Considering the chance of your survival and the odds against your success, and knowing that at your very best, you could only be second best, would you, if you could, turn just a few of those miserable pages back? To try to change what is by erasing yesterday's mistakes written in black. Do you remember your secondhand clothes brought on by your overworked mother after scrubbing whitest floors? Do you remember how she complained about her back? 
if you could, would you go back if you had a choice? Would you do it black? I said if you could just go back, way back, back into time. 